in this lesson we're going to talk about temperature. Um, in the American system, temperature is measured in degrees Fahrenheit. In the metric system, it's measured in degrees Celsius. And so we have two formulas here that help us get from one to the other. So if you want to go from Fahrenheit to Celsius, you use this formula right here. You plug your Fahrenheit temperature in for F and then see what that thing equals, and that'll be your Celsius temperature. And then same here, to go from Celsius to Fahrenheit, uh, we're plugging in our Celsius temperature for C and then seeing what Fahrenheit temperature comes out. So um, we're going to convert 70 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius uh, and round it to the nearest tenth if necessary. So since we're going from Fahrenheit to Celsius, we'll use that first formula. So Celsius equals 5 times 70 minus 32 all divided by 9. I have to remember our order of operations here. We do what's inside the parentheses first. 70 minus 32 is 38. And of course, we multiply what's on top next. I'm going to have to do a little scratch work over here. So we get 190 over 9. And then finally, we'll divide 190 by 9. Give myself a little bit more room there and probably be a decent idea. So 9 goes into 19 twice. Get 18, remainder of 1, drop our 0. 9 goes into 10 once. Remainder of 1, we need to keep going. It said around to the nearest tenth, so I'll add a decimal point and a 0, drop that 0 down. At a decimal point in the quotient, 9 goes into 10 one time. And then remember, even though we're at the tenths place now, we need to go one more to decide whether to round up or down. And since we get another 10 and another 1 up here, we understand we're just going to round it down to 21.1 degrees Celsius. And again, I use those uh, squiggly equal signs to indicate that it's approximately 21.1 degrees Celsius, not exactly. All right, now let's take a look at our um, next example. It says convert 100 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. Well, uh, we're going to use this formula here. Just as, a, as an FYI, uh, 100 degrees Celsius, the significance of that is that uh, it's the boiling point of water. So we're going to find out what the Fahrenheit uh, boiling point of water is. So we have 9 fifths times 100. Now I would suggest here that you maybe do this, 100 over 1, because you're multiplying by the fraction 9 fifths, so I think that can be real helpful. And as we go to multiply 9 fifths by 100 over 1, might as well see if anything pre-reduces, and in fact we can take 5 divided by 5 is 1, 100 divided by 5 is 20. And so we'll just now multiply 20 by 9. 9 times 20 is 180, right? Because 9 times 2 is 18, and then just add the 0 to make 180. And then finally, we add these two, and when we do, we get 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is the boiling point of water in degrees Fahrenheit.